All right, so on this one, um, quickly, we'll be uh, performing a log parsing activity. So this one will have to do with event logs. So are we gonna do, instead of using event logs uh, explorer, we're gonna put out all these uh, events. Let's go into this, cause we have to keep on, um, further investigation. So right now, what we're doing, we're gonna get into the event logs folder. So we have all the logs and we're looking for commands that actually exploited the zero log on vulnerability. And to correlate some of this activity, I find out that we have Sysmon, which is a great source of data that will give us um, some of the either exploitation or commands that were issued. So let's get into the folder, the tools folders. So let's see if we can get back to Eric Zimmerman's tools. Actually, I think we, we just go back to the next next six and find the parser that will do event logs at the EV. Yeah. CMD. EBT X CMD. <coughs> and you see a lot of tools right here. And then viewer. Um, NTFF. Let's just go in for event. Um, e for events. And see help to see, yeah, we can use this. All right. So let's get this one and then let's say file and use these event logs. Let's give it this folder right here as file. And then the format is CSV. And then we want it in users, administrator, desktop, fine. And then again, CSV, file. And the name is Sysmon. Sysmon. That's CSB. So this, okay, we have an error. Um, file, CSB. Let's look at the command. A full screen. And then let's look at the syntax once more to see what's missing. Uh, the X, give it the file logs, CSV, where it's going, and then CSBF, which file we got we get in. And then let's discover this error. CSV, put it in desktop, and that right here was our error. And then it should be on its way for right now. And then we got our file. And then let's open it up on Timeline Explorer, which let's use another one to bring it in. Open it up, six months, six months, and we'll get another window. It's ready. Message. We got NTFS. Or we can do a quick drag. 
and it'll give us a different window. And then we have the six months right here. Okay, so from here we can explore by event logs on process ID, event ID three, that's our stars. We could do event one, which is execution, which actually has commands involved. And for now, all I wanted to illustrate is how you get these lo event logs and into Timeline Explorer, and it'll help us to further investigate these files. I'll be putting out videos on how this investigation took place. And for now, this is the part of the video for the event log parsing and using Eric Zimmerman's EC tools and using Timeline Explorer. Thank you very much.